Okay. I put my glasses on top of my head and then needed reading glasses and grabbed another pair. And I've been like this for, what, 20 minutes now? I keep forgetting. Mm -hmm. I'm doing my nails. Okay, I just figured I'd show you what I brought with us while I make my coffee this morning and tell you that we woke up to the news that Disney has sugar-free creamer. No, they don't have that. Disney has lifted the outdoor mask mandate, so now we can, uh, you have to wear them indoors, you have to wear them on rides. But if you're outside, you do not have to wear them. It's um, completely optional. Um, so I have to figure out what I want for breakfast. I got maple and brown sugar. I got this Kodiak. Kodiak stuff is usually really, really good. And then I just got Quaker. I love banana nut. So I can't decide which one I want for breakfast. Ethan brought himself some chips. I got queso and salsa and then chips. And I got a huge thing of, uh, what are those? Sunflower seeds. I thought that would be good. And I brought my creamer. And then if we spin around this way, Ethan's got his yogurt. I've got my cheese sticks. There's a case of water and more creamer. Because once we leave here, we are going to uh, the new apartment. So in this pile, I haven't shown you this. This, is, Steph was using this. So there's the only nail polish I have access to right now. We have this cute little case on Amazon. And it holds all your tools up here. So this is actually supposed to be there, that's supposed to be there, that's supposed to be there, now that's all cleaned up. These have been in our uh, craft room since a previous trip. I have no idea if those light up at all. We'll find out one of these nights when we're not wearing masks. Well, no, don't I feel silly? Okay, I decided I'm hungry and it's breakfast time and I'm going to have a Quaker banana nut oatmeal. And I thought this was interesting. I was getting stuff out. I found a little pot. I figured out how the stove worked. I was digging through the cabinets looking for the measuring cup, which I found up here with all of this other stuff. What's up there? Oh, that's a clear something. I'm not sure what that is. Nice glass bowls. I found little cups and saucers. Here I found plates and wine glasses and a platter. So there's a platter and there's eight wine glasses. There's the regular glasses, all normal. There's the bowls and the little plastic cups. But would you please look at the size of this bowl? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit that packet and a half a cup of water in this tiny little bowl. We shall see. Okay, apparently I'm just American and am used to huge servings because it's going to fit just fine. All right, so as long as we're waiting for the water to boil, let's do a little tour. So, silverware. All the things you might need in a kitchen, including a corkscrew, because you have eight wine glasses, so you need the corkscrew. That was from one of the cruises. Did I tell you both our cruises got canceled? I'm so upset. It's light outside. Still no sign of Ethan. It's only, I don't know, seven o'clock. All right, let's see how the water's doing, shall we? Getting there. Any minute now. It's a really nice cooktop though. It tells you underneath which burner it um, controls, and that says melt, and that says melt. There's a melt setting here. I'm trying not to accidentally rest the camera strap on the hot oven. And then there's a warm zone. That's well, not warm right now. But I only have one burner on. And we've got some steam, so we're very close to oatmeal. Woohoo! Good Saturday morning. 
we are eating breakfast and watching YouTube on our smart TV at the Saratoga. So I'm sitting there watching Sorted. Jamie eats the chip. <laughs> we'll look at Sorted while she eats. That's fine. Um, I don't care. <laughs> so it hit me that apparently this is like our obsession TVs. We were obsessing over Hamilton last time we were at Saratoga, so we wired in to watch Hamilton. Now we're wired in to watch Sorted. <laughs> But what can we say? It's a really good channel. You should check that out. So it's a nice day for it. Epcot doesn't open till 11, so... Ho-hum. I hold on to the stamps. Show it off. <laughs> You're not showing it off, you're hiding behind it. So we just heard it straight from a cast member's mouth. The masks are not required outdoors. This feels weird. It's so pretty. And I said that every time we come here. Well, if it isn't another sign of the times, what? leave a comment when you see it. Do you see it? No. Look at the garbage. I'm looking at it. What's it doing? Oh, it's closed. Yep. I just checked the other ones too, and they're closed over there. Pull it out. Yep. All right, it was too much change too soon. I had to go back to the status quo. Actually, we're about to go into there. I get so used to not wearing a mask already that I <laughs> forgot I was supposed to do this. Okay. Mission accomplished. Here you go, Meg, I found your ear. So I'm checking that off the list. Tell you guys how much they are. Hang on, I need my glasses for that. I can't tell what these play. Oh, you can put them in the dishwasher. The Mendanella Me. They're 30 bucks for a set of four. Mm -hmm. That's really cute. I like those and they're nice and deep. Oh. Yo ho, yo ho. A pitcher of rum tin what? drink for me. Don't screw around, that's plastic. I really like, oh, look at these plates and huge bowls. Oh honey, I really like this set. Why? Why? Why are you drawn to the... Did you do this in the world of Disney last night? Yeah. Yeah, I told them you did. Yeah. But, like, I don't know why. You don't know... You don't even know why? You just come over to it. You're a disaster. Well, I keep coming up with these new Mission Fleet gizmos. So I bought the IG-11 one, and now they have the Darth Vader TIE Fighter one. And then the gun he used in all the movies. That, remember that? The time he used all those guns? They have a Mandalorian one with a Baby Yoda. Yeah. 
here are your finalists, but only one can be Miss Disney Princess 2021. I don't know what it is. I'm assuming it's a cookie jar and I think I need it. I neglected to mention yesterday with the other display of these, these are $19.99 pre-discount. The irony is with these being the Ben There series, I've actually been to Mirror Woods, so yes, I have been to Endor. These seem new-ish or anymore, it's all running together. That's the usual $29.99. And so Ariel learned to use her imagination. Or wait, was it something else? I don't know. I, hold on, what was I saying? It's my buddy Figment from my childhood. Cool. It's him. How are you? Grassless. I know, right? It's so weird. It would be like nothing ever happened. Nah, I wouldn't go that far. Yeah. Since it's a good point of clarification, the butterfly house is an attraction, so yes, you have to wear a mask. So there's the land. Now let's turn around slowly. I never seen that before. We haven't done this in a really long while. Meg's ears, people behind us have the biggest problem figuring these things out. That drove me crazy. I blame Meg. You had to get her ears. No. The thing you were saying when I wasn't filming about the people with the line. I love that you think I was going to be able to with that thing. It wasn't that they were didn't know how to use the line, they were ignoring the line. Alright Meg, I just want it known that not only did Doting Green Dad get your stinking ears, it took me forever to find, but they've been on actual living with the land. So I mean, these will easily fetch an extra buck on eBay. Why are you giving her ideas? Well, it's not like she wasn't thinking of it. <laughs> Wanda, the what's going on in there? Seem violent and destructive to us, but to me. living laboratories where scientists from Epcot and the US Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests now and into the future so if they still missed us, 
The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee and rice, are well known around the petals are edible. The starchy root of the plant has long been used to make flour for baking. Looks like a hidden winny, the way that the ears One day, many of these lesser known tropical plants... Look, honey, aubergine. Sure about that? I mean courgettes. I mean... No, uh, aubergines. <laughs> That's new. They're doing the Epcot logo instead of the huge. Why did it have these snake boards? What's new? What's new? Scientists are working with the U.S. Research Department of Agriculture back, on a number of innovative projects. Not the goal of these efforts is to produce. Okay, so 20 outdoor kitchens, and where do you want to eat? Indoors. Indoors. I'm going to kill you today. We don't have to wear our masks if we're outside, and he keeps taking us indoors. Behold the power of nobody wanting to wear a mask. So like we were saying back in the room, we watch a lot of Sorted. I'm going to grab a table. Okay. Um, and one of the things they cook with all the time is rhubarb, and we don't have a whole lot of hands-on experience with rhubarb. So they have a rhubarb upside-down cake. <laughs> when I saw the sign flash rhubarb, I actually shouted out, Oh my God, rhubarb! <laughs> it's a different world here. In England, they're like, shrug. Here it's like, oh my god! <laughs> or it's like shrug, because I don't think rhubarb isn't part of our cultural makeup the way that it seems to be there, from what I gather. Alright, so I was avoiding this, but I got the leg of lamb at the Farmer Fresh thing. And as advertised, here's the upside down rhubarb cake with creme fraiche. Ooh. Weird sweetness to it. However, my takeaway is once you finish the lamb, the rest is gravy. Tastes like um, barnyard. <laughs> nope, not a lamb fan. No, it's for things that don't taste like barnyard. Right? We both love the rhubarb, however. It does, like if somebody hadn't said it was rhubarb, yeah. and handed it to me and said, here, have this. I would have thought, yeah, it's strawberry-ish. Mm -hmm. It's got that strawberry essence to yeah, it. Like but, strawberry pie. But it's not it. Well, my general understanding is that rhubarb is seasonal, whereas strawberries we seem to magically get year-round. So that might be one of the reasons I don't tend to see it around at the store. I think if I go to Whole Foods or a place like that, they might have it. But I generally don't go to Whole Foods, so I don't see it. So that's the name of that tune. But as Jamie was saying, it was very refreshing. It's not tart and it's not sweet, like in your face sweet. It's just refreshing, I guess, is the best thing you can say about it with that strawberry essence to it. For all I know, they spiked it with strawberry in their floor. Don't scare salad. What you doing? For a game break. Also, did you check your hollow taco? No, but I can. So here's the latest, latest on Humongous, or whatever it's called anymore. The 
Starship should be landing any time now. Genie farted. I can neither credit nor blame Sorted for this, but the Japan booth caught our eye. So Jamie's getting some stuff. It's her turn to get some stuff. Alright, so I forgot what this was anymore. The shrimp and crab? Shrimp and crab on cucumber. And then the pork shank. Pork shank, yep. Yes, ma'am. Alright. You done fiddling there? Alright, so the shrimp and crab on cucumber. I wasn't a huge fan of it, although I did like the heat from the wasabi afterwards. That was really nice. And I like cucumber. But the um, paste itself was a little... I, can you explain it? Because I think I was expecting something sweeter with the crab and, it, and the shrimp. And that wasn't what I got at all. Oh, sure. This is the pork shank. I, I broke off half of it for you because I know you don't like eating meat off the bone, so that's side you. Okay. Um, I don't know why this is Japanese. It is delicious. Well, it's not because it's delicious that I don't know why it's Japanese. Um, didn't know that pork shank was a. It seems American to me. It's like mashed potatoes and gravy and pork. Really good. Soy gravy. So as you may or may not recall, I bought the cutlery set that came with the spoon, the fork, the knife, the cleaner, and the straw, and rolls up and goes in my bag, and Mickey, but look what I just figured out. Right? It's like straight out of Iron Man. Yes? Oh boy, are you going to be happy. Yes? I accept this offering. My puny little cup of gelato compared to that. Mm. Puny gelato. Alright, we hit the new gelato place here in Epcot in Italy. And I got two scoops in a cup. I got pistachio and amaretto cherry. So far I've had a bite of the cherry and it's fantastic. Ethan got the zeppoli. There were five. Ethan looks happy. Mm -hmm. Do they have the ricotta in the middle? Or are they solid donuts? You're eating them so fast, you have no idea. Tastes like solid dough. Tastes like solid dough? Yeah. Hmm. All right. Um, also, I just told him I really like having our own silverware. I don't know why. There's just... Yeah. Something about it. It feels convenient. To have our own silverware mm -hmm. and um, less wasteful, which I think was kind of the plan. I'm happy. You happy? You're gonna be sad in about four seconds. Yeah. So the big question is, worth the wait or no second date? Worth the wait. Okay. Although I'm pretty sure it's the same stuff they've always sold. Pretty much. Same with this here. But the thing is, I think this is year round as opposed to seasonally at the cart, if at all. So there's that. This was at the other cart year round. Yeah. It wasn't a food wine option. Mm -hmm. So what just happened? So we've been talking about our new obsession, which is sorted foods. It's five guys in London who do a lot of food videos and cook a lot of stuff and kind of been inspiring us to branch out a little bit. 
um, to the point where we tried rhubarb today, and I tried lamb today, and I posted something and tagged them on Instagram, and one of the guys liked it, and I'm in heaven. One of the actual guys? One of the actual guys. I thought it was like somebody who's in the background doing their vlog or something. Like no, it was it was Jamie Spafford. Yep. Um, yeah, I follow I follow all five, all five of them on Instagram. Ah! You didn't? I hadn't told you that. No. My straw did not pop up that time. All right. and drink. I've been good. So I can't stress enough how weird it is to not wear masks. Most of the places in Disney, when they've so beat it into us about you've got to wear your mask by pretty much anywhere and everywhere, even like to bed. Uh, so now it's it's not just us, it's a lot of people you see their face and they've got this look on their face like, you know, they just... I don't know, walked around naked or something, but they've got this look on their face like they're just massively getting away with something or they're waiting for the other shoe to drop, like security to come uh, tackle to the ground and scream in their face, well, where's your mask at? Um, but yeah, no, no one said a word about anything other than like when we came into the park, they, a couple people reinforced like when you're indoors or you're on an attraction then you've got to have your mask on otherwise it's pretty well mask optional it's been very mask optional so it's been nice especially on a hot day like today to not be you know smothered with the mask but it's good now we happen to be fully vaccinated really officially as of tomorrow we'll have hit that two week mark but we're fully vaccinated Therefore, it did apply. It's like calling force field. All right, time to hop over to Hollywood Studios to meet up with the rest of the group. Or just stop in our tracks. All right, not really stop, but kind of stop. There's a nice breeze in this thing when it's going. Mm -hmm. I just went away from the rhubarb sniffing dog. <laughs> that dog was cute. And down there is where Remy is going to be. And the crapery. Mmm, crepes. That's the crapery. And then, the, yes, the crapery is over here. It's the bathroom. There's the dancery. And the prancery. Oh my, look at that vixen. It's the red light district. So, pro tip? No. They don't allow hateration at the danceries. I'm just saying. I have no More idea. Coloration. I have no idea what any of those words mean. <laughs> what are you talking about? Leave a comment if you know what I'm talking about. Please don't leave a comment, even if you know what he's talking about. Do not give him the satisfaction. You should like and subscribe if you understand that reference. Yep, there went all our subscribers. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. How about we stop looking at him and we look forward again? Back side of the hotel? What hotel is that? Is that the Beach Club? Boardwalk? What is it? Boardwalk. Oh, that's the convention center part of the boardwalk. That's what that is. I'm like, I'm confused. Tower chair. We're going in that direction. Oh, I hear a helicopter. Where is he? There he is up there. I have no idea if that showed anything or not. He's over there. Fifteen bucks small spot. What, for the helicopter ride? Yeah. Oh. There's people next to us. This thing keeps slowing down. I hear music. Do you hear it? Mm -hmm. Where is that coming from? We're over a parking lot. Where is their music coming from?
So that's one leg of the journey down. So I didn't get a shot of this before. Here it is. New rules. Hopping achieved. So where's Bree at? Lunch. Nowhere, that's where. Frozen was sold out, so we're going to my favorite thing of the bunch, the whole park. Okay, so I lied about the movie being my favorite attraction. Now we're at my favorite attraction. Yay! Bree's going to Potato Land. So after making half a million Star Wars jokes on our way over here to the Muppet thing, we have never been back here. So it's a Ever. joke about that. Because Miss Piggy's a pig. No, anyway, I lost my joke there. What I was saying was I made a million Star Wars jokes on the way over here, and I don't know what planet I'm on that this attraction is this popular all of a sudden. I guess everything else is closed. I don't know what's going on here. Okay. <laughs> All right, you hear that book of five filled music? You know what time it is. It's time for us to go to Star Wars Land as a group. And we're all going to enjoy the experience, and no one's going to complain about anything. And it's going to be the best day of their life, I hate isn't this it? Already. We're going to smile through the tears, aren't we? That's like hot. Bree. Bree, this is very important questions I need to ask you. <laughs> Bree, how much did you love Star Wars Land? Would you, how many stars would you give it on a Yelp review? Zero. <laughs> would you recommend this to all your friends? Zero. Zero? Steph, what about that one? What? Think Bree would like that one? Oh, sure. Yeah. I think it would be her favorite. This would be better than a, a new sister, don't you think? Oh, totally. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it would last longer, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Yeah. 
the last time I ever did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then plus, you know, when she's flying her X-Wing, it'll help out. Oh, totally. So, you know, as she does. <laughs> All right. So launch bay corridor or courtyard. Not so much with the uh, Star Wars related shenanigans here. Wow. If this has been open or if it's another milestone. We are meandering our way to dinner. Beef. It's all on camera. All right, so we went to Rosie's, and somewhere in all this mess is a bacon cheeseburger, a plant-based something, would-be fries, alleged cookie, supposed hot dog, and a slushie. Right. I think I need a fork, and we need some straws. Hi. So I got. I got straws. Oh, oh great yeah. big hot dog. I got a strawberry lemonade slush, and I got fries. Free, would you like to tell the audience what you have? A, no. What are you eating? Hamburgers. With ketchup? And fries? Mm -hmm. Is right. the most fun you've ever had in your life, eating a hamburger? <laughs> oh yes. All this beef for me. Beginning of time, very few humans have seen them from afar, let alone interact with them one on one. Legend has it that only on nights, when the skies awake, will the trolls reveal themselves. On nights much like this one. Warning. This is the only known documented footage of trolls. Na na he ya he ya he ya na na na. Why are you doing that? Na 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 na. Why are you doing that? 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 Why are you doing Welcome to our theater. Green <laughs> <laughs> Dead is the best. <laughs> yes, well, sir. well, it all started with us saying good night to Bree. I'm going to the bathroom. Then we can say good night. So, did you have fun today, Bree? Bree? That's what my dad calls me. 
Did you have fun today? Did you have fun? Call you. You can't complain if you don't have a better answer. Hey, you asked the question. Nothing. So nothing, no fun whatsoever today. What was your favorite part? What was your favorite ride? Mickey. Mickey's Runaway Railroad or Mickey's Vacation? Potato Land. Potato Land. <laughs> Yay! Yay! We love potato, potato Land's the best. What? Goofy loves Potato Land. Goofy does love Potato Land. So here's the news. There's the line for the the Skyliners, and we're parked at Epcot because you know, brilliant. So we're either gonna walk over or we're gonna bus. Bus. Yeah, let's see what the bus is doing. And then if it's bad, we'll just walk. Right. What a day, huh? <sighs> that was a long one. I am exhausted. It ended with the line to the Skyliner to get back to Epcot was so long, it was the entire inside of the building, all the way down the side around the corner and past the bathrooms. So our options were bus or walk. I don't know, I didn't want to walk it. So I figured, let's check the bus line and if it's crazy long, then we'll just walk. So we go to the bus line and there's about four or five people in front of us. And then the bus, it, the, it filled up before we were done. We get on the bus that comes after about 20 minutes. I don't know how far we got. A mile, the bus stalls. We're like, we're not in the middle of the street. We're in the middle of the street, but we're not like in a cross street. We were at a stop sign. Teenage girls across from us start literally freaking out. It was like, it's a stalled vehicle. She gets it started again, it stalls again. These girls went into total panic mode. The one was like, I have to get out of here. Can I get off? Can we get off? It's a stalled vehicle. It just didn't start. It happens. I was on a plane once it happened on. Todd was with me. The third time she got it started and it stayed. But it was weird. There were a lot of strange comments said on the bus. Um, yeah, so we had a really nice day and we're both exhausted. Uh, Ethan said this was a month's worth of Disney for us in a day and a half. Yep. I, I would agree with that. I love my straw except for the one time I forgot it was in there and I poured crystal light down my shirt. Yeah. You have anything to add? I'm beat. Go to bed. <laughs> Thanks for watching. How about this? No!